In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to automate turning on Do Not Disturb on your iPhone and Mac just by a calendar event. Now, this isn't anything that's built into uh, iOS or your, your iPhone or Mac or anything, It's um, or the Shortcuts app, which is the main thing that we're gonna be using. Um, I don't know why they don't have it as um, you know an action. Um, I think right now it's only um, things like time, uh, location, um, Wi-Fi, things like that, uh, that can trigger uh, shortcuts and that sort of thing. But today we're going to be using a third-party app uh, to be able to, uh, yeah, turn on automations um, on your iPhone and Mac uh, just by a calendar event. So. This is actually <laughs> a bit of an impromptu uh, video that I didn't plan out. I just, so what was happening was I was sitting down to plan um, videos for the future and I was hoping to film one, which yay, I'm filming one right now. Um, but uh, my notifications on my watch and everything was just going off the wall because I've got group texts you know, that I keep on still. And so I was about to turn on do not disturb. And I thought, oh, no, like, Anthony, like, you should automate this because this is going to be a recurring thing. And then I thought, you know what? Let's just make a video. And so that's what we're doing today. So, uh, yeah, bit bit unplanned. And, you know, there's going to be some mess ups probably, but that's OK. We're going to we're going to work through it. Um, so I'm going to use an app called uh, Rules. Uh, this is a free app. I think when I downloaded it, it uh, included two to three rules, uh, which are like the automations to be able to turn on, uh, you know, the do not disturb. So I wound up when I got it, bought the the full app, which gives you unlimited uh, just because I know how I am. I'm going to probably want to create a bunch of them. And it was only, I think, 10 to 12 bucks, something like that. Not a subscription, just a one-time price. So I was like, I'm just going to do it. So um, yeah, that, that's the app. I'll leave the link in the description. All right, so the app runs in the menu bar. So I'm going to open it up. But when you install it, um, it is going to ask to uh, access the calendar. So you're going to have to do that, you know, it, it prompts you and all that. Um, I can't show it to you because I've already done that, but just a heads up, it is going to prompt you uh, because it does need to read your calendars and, and all that good stuff. Um, another thing to note is that in order for this to work, it has to run on a Mac that is always on, especially if you're just going to want it to like trigger at any point. Um, like another idea that I had was like, if I have a meeting, you know, trigger automatically trigger. And so um, you'll always ha need to have it running. So um, I use a Mac mini. That's my, my setup right here. Uh, it's always on, but when I'm not at the computer, I just turn off my mouse, keyboard and monitor. Uh, but the actual Mac mini is still running. So that way it'll be able to trigger. Um, another thing is that when you go to the app and you click on the, the menu, you can go to settings and you can do always keep Mac awake, which I guess I should um, turn that on. All right. So now that we got all that figured out. Um, we're going to do a, well, first, let me show you my calendar. Don't get scared because it is a little chaotic. Uh, this is the calendar app that I use. It's called Fantastical. Um, you don't have to have Fantastical. Um, you know, you could just be using the actual, the um, like, count like the built-in calendar on your Mac. Um, you know, do you don't have to be using this. But um, this is the the calendar block that we're going to automate today. Um, I call it filming. Uh, since I'm trying to start this YouTube channel. Um, I'm trying to set certain blocks uh, throughout the week for me able, for me to be able to sit down and record. And so this is the one we're going to be using and uh, automating today. All right, so 
we're going to go to the plus sign right here. And a few things that I noticed the last time I, I was using it, um, was, uh, one, I always chose any because for some reason all um, just never worked. Another thing is I like to put emojis into my calendars. Um, I just love the visual aspect of it. But I noticed that emojis didn't do so well um, as far as like the conditions go. So when you click add condition, I'm going to use just title, but there's tons of different options that you can do. Um, but I'm just going to go with title, keep it simple. So I had the little like camera emoji. I'm going to keep that out. Um, but the calendar block is called filming. So I'm just going to put filming. And then um, the next thing we need to do is add the shortcut. I already have a shortcut, but I have an idea of a shortcut that I want to do just for filming. So we're going to create a new one and we're going to open up the shortcuts app. This is also on your uh, Mac. Um, hit the plus sign. I'm going to call this focus and then filming. So first thing I want to do is do the focus and we're going to do set focus and we're going to turn do not disturb on. Now, if you've got other focus modes uh, set, you can choose it right here. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to use do not disturb. And I'm just going to keep it uh, turned on or yeah, turned on until turned off. Um, but the thing that I want to do uh, specifically for this focus mode is uh, my desk is in our living room. This is why I have certain days where I try and uh, film is because no one's home. Um, and I've got the living room to myself, but we have a air filter that is in our living room and it's super loud. It's old. It's, it's fine, but I don't want to have to turn it on and off. Um, you know, when I'm starting to film. So one thing I did, uh, recently was I connected it to a smart plug, um, and connected it to our, um, our home app. So we don't have like a crazy smart home or anything like that, but basically I turned this like dummy, dumb, I don't know what you want to call it, just regular air filter, plugged it into a smart plug, and that way I can control it through the home app. But I don't want to have to turn it off every single time when I film. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to control home and or have it as apartment, and we're going to go to select scenes or accessories and we're going to do air filter and we're going to do next and it's already set to off but the idea is when i'm starting to sit down and film i want do not disturb to turn on and i want my air filter to turn off now as you can see like you could do a whole bunch of things just based on a calendar event so you like if you've got smart lights, you can change the lights. You, like you could do a whole bunch of things, um, but this is what we're going to be doing today. So that's my focus mode for filming, um, and we're going to go ahead and close this out. Now, because we created a new shortcut, we're going to have to reload the shortcuts list. So we're just going to click that button, and then all right. Well, we already did that. Okay. So we're going to do add shortcut and we're going to select it. So I labeled it focus filming and we're going to do at time of uh, event start and we're going to hit save. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give it a title. This is one thing that I notice is not like, um, doesn't really stick out that you can change the title right away, but um, that's how you do it. So I'm going to call this focus for filming. That way I know what it is. And there you go. All right. So I want to show you in real time um, how to do this. So we're going to open up the calendar again. And I'm just going to change this so that way it starts at 119. Oh, I did 12. We're going to do 119 only this event do refresh 
All right, and then up here, um, we don't have any focus mode turned on right now. So as soon as this starts, that should trigger the focus mode. I don't know if we gave it enough time. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. I don't think I gave it enough time uh, to be able to um, to check. So let's go back to the calendar, and we're gonna do one twenty. Refresh. All right. I got it. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to check one more time. We're going to wait. Hopefully that gave enough time for it to update throughout my entire Mac. Um, since I am using it in the third-party app, uh, I don't know if I should uh, open the... I know it works, but I'm just... There it goes. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't give it enough time. So, yeah. Yeah. It triggered uh, do not disturb. My air filter is already off, so that's fine. Um, but I just wanted to share that with y'all because I've been wanting to sit down and make this and uh, do this for a while, and I was about to. And anyway, impromptu video. I hope y'all found this helpful. Um, if this is something you've been wanting to do, uh, yeah, get this app. It's great. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. Oh, hey, sorry, I'm back. I have one more thing. <laughs> so after um, I stopped recording, I was like, oh, what's going to happen as soon as uh, the filming block is done? Um, so we're going to create one more rule uh, to turn off the focus mode, uh, you know, once that event is done. So um, I already created a shortcut. Um, I called it focus, turn focus mode off or something like that. Um, so you're going to want to create another shortcut that just turns off the focus mode or, you know, does other things, um, however you want to do. So we're going to go to create another rule and we're going to do the, the same thing. So any rule and we're going to do title filming and we're going to do, I need to reload the shortcuts list. All right. And then we're going to run shortcut. Uh, focus, turn focus mode off. And we're going to do at the time of event end. So that's going to be the, the main difference is uh, with, with that. And then I'm going to change the title of this and call it um, filming focus mode off. I don't know. That's a terrible title. Um, and then hit save. So that way, once uh, that event ends and you want it to change to something else, um, you know, whatever it is, uh, you can make sure that you're still aware. Um, it's important that you just don't go into do not disturb for like the entire day. Um, another thing you could do is have uh, certain blocks of your day. So if you've got another block that's always there, you can just create another rule just for that block. And like you can go crazy with this. This is why. I wanted to share this app with you, but, um, anyway, I, that's it. I'm done. I just wanted to come back just to share that with you. Thanks again for watching. Bye y'all.